always do Hold my hand and look me in the eyes So I can tell you how I feel Tell you how I feel Every day something new Spinning round, round, around. Oh, I want you now, now, now. My world is spinning round, round, round. And I want you now, and I want you now, and I want you now.
Sorry. I'm not used to speaking into the mic, I'm sorry. There oh, there it is. Uh, if I'm being honest, the speech was actually really hard for me to write. Not because I couldn't think of anything nice to say, but like, <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to sum up years and years of friendship with this incredible man right here into just a few words. And like, I realized we can't do it, but I've been told I have to try, so here we go. Um, Max and I met at the beginning of elementary school. And we've been fr friends for so long that I sometimes forget where we're at. Sometimes I get the urge to ask him if he wants to go play lightsabers on my trampoline still. <laughs> or if I can go over to his house after school and watch Star Wars. Um, and realistically, we're a bit past that. Um, but we have been through most life. Well, kind of past it. We still do that sometimes. Um, though we have been through most major life events together and minor through braces and sports teams and combined birthday parties. Uh, Max and I's birthday is two days apart, so every year we'd have birthday parties together and it's just ragers for sure. <laughs> and I'm not sure if that's a tradition that will continue, but here's to hoping. Uh, all these events, all the summer camps and raft trips, cuddling in tents pretty late at night and seeing each other to sleep. Um, all these times, the time Max and I uh, skipped his graduation with all these guys and went to Portland to watch soccer instead of Max actually walking. Yeah. Um, the dorming together in college, uh, the time where in high school where Max told me about this girl Haley that he had a crush on for four years off and on, but he never thought it was going to work out. Um, all these events have gone by pretty quickly. And so it's pretty weird to be here now. But being here, I wouldn't hope for it to be any different. Haley, you are an incredible woman. You are smart, beautiful, and I'm super happy that Max found you. I know you're going to be an amazing wife to him. And he loves you in a way I've never seen before. Max, I am super proud of the man you've become. You're a great best friend. You are an awesome brother. And I know you're going to be such an awesome husband. I am super grateful for all the years we've had and i'm super excited for all the years to come so with everyone raise a glass to my brother max and his beautiful wife Amy. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's here. I know it means so well for Max and Haley that you guys are here to celebrate them. Um, and for those of you who don't know me, I am Haley's cousin. But she's always honestly been more like a bonus sister, best friend for me. Um, we've had countless sleepovers. We even shared a bed and bedroom for like a month there. Um, ordered takeout, just to watch Netflix in bed, drink wine even when you weren't allowed to, all that good stuff. You were there with me when my car broke down on the side of the road to California for 4th of July. We go see Arrow. So we've just had a lot of great, great memories. Um, but I have had the immense privilege of knowing Haley long enough that I've been able to be there for most of her big accomplishments and just been able to see the awesome younger girl that I used to know her as growing up into this amazing woman and she's honestly someone even though she's younger than me someone that I totally look up to and admire and love very much um so when Haley first asked me to be her maid of honor I was like oh great I have to give a speech <laughs> <laughs> but um it's been a total honor to stand by your side and Max you are awesome I love you so much and I couldn't imagine anyone more perfect to be Haley's husband and the way that you love her and look at her is just more than I could ever ask for for her. So with that being said, you'll all raise a glass and toast to Mr. and Mrs. Maxwell. Yay! Thanks, Abigail. That was beautiful. I'm going to keep it short, otherwise I will cry. Um, Max. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am just so happy for you. Um, dang it. <laughs> okay. Um, so, growing up with Max was just so much fun, most of the time. <laughs> uh, he consistently quotes movies and YouTube videos, and he consistently makes me laugh. Um, 
We've definitely had our moments, and you know when you're fighting with your younger brother, and everyone tells you, you know when you grow up, you're going to love your brother, and not just because he's your brother. Um, I would say that's true for us now. Um, <laughs> and I would say that started when we met Haley. <laughs> Sorry. I've said this hit to Haley before. Her, like, sweet spirit just really compliments Max's loud one. <laughs> she was just gracefully, um, she just gracefully pushed him to be a better man. He's no longer my little brother. Um, I'm so proud of you. Um, Uh, <laughs> so, I'm a teacher, and uh, one of my students asked me uh, at the beginning of the year if it bothered me that my little brother was getting married before I was. <laughs> and I can honestly say that it doesn't, because I just know that Haley is the perfect woman for my brother, and I'm just so, so happy for them. And I'm so excited to see um, what's next for them. And I've known Haley was going to be my sister for a long time now. And I'm just glad it's official. So Max, take care of my new sister. <laughs> and love her well. Cheers to Max. Cheers. Cheers. I feel like I should have gone first because the speech is probably going to be better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so... My mom has always been a really hard worker, and I can't remember a time she wasn't working two or three jobs. And so because of this, my sister had to take on a lot of responsibility of taking care of me. She would always get me to school most of the time on time. <laughs> um, making sure I ate and such stuff. And now any other sister might be a little bit annoyed by having to do this. Uh, but for my sister, it was different. My sister took this as an opportunity to be my best friend. Uh, we never get in fights. We, she includes me with her friends. I mean, I was friends with Max so fast. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, she's always there to talk, and she's just always worried about me because I know she cares a lot about me. She's truly an amazing woman, and so me and my mom used to joke about whether or not there would ever be anybody that was good for her. And so, uh, um, I think my mom started to believe it wasn't true, and especially not a guy that middle, who his middle school nickname was Maxipad. <laughs> But when Max came around, I saw how happy he made my sister. His crazy, outgoing personality complimented her so well. And uh, he took the time to become not only my friend, but a friend of my entire family. And so, to Max and the entire Henry family, I want to say thank you for uh, showing my sister the nurturing love that she showed me my whole life and everyone she knows. And thanks for just accepting her and making us one big family. And I'm proud to call you family, Max. Cheers.